Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chansom. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Monday, the 27th of July. Indian Prime Minister Modi launches high throughput COVID-19 testing facilities. India hands over 10 broad gauge locomotives to Bangladesh. And political activists protest against wheat shortage in Gilgit, Baltistan. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday virtually inaugurated three high-throughput COVID-19 testing facilities in Noida, Mumbai and Kolkata cities. The move aims to help ramp up the number of COVID-19 tests in the country, which has recorded over 1.4 million cases. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday inaugurated three high-end laboratories to help ramp up the number of COVID-19 tests in the country, which has recorded over 1.4 million confirmed cases. Prime Minister Modi launched the facilities at institutions of Indian Center of Medical Research or ICMR in Noida, Kolkata and Mumbai cities via video conferencing. He said the high-throughput labs will be able to test over 10,000 samples in addition to 500,000 tests being conducted daily. Infections from the coronavirus have risen rapidly in India, the world's second most populous country. India on Monday reported 1,435,453 cases with 32,771 deaths. However, the country's recovery rate now stands at 64%. जनवरी में हमारे पास कोरोना के टेस्ट के लिए जहां मात्र एक सेंटर था, आज करीब 1300 लैब्स पूरे देश में काम कर रही हैं। आज भारत में 5 लाख से ज्यादा टेस्ट हर रोज हो रहे हैं। और आने वाले हफ्तों में इसको 10 लाख प्रतिदिन करने की कोशिश हो रही है। As per ICMR figures, number of tests for detection of the COVID-19 has crossed the 16 million mark in India. India's central Madhya Pradesh state's chief minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan tested positive for COVID-19 on Saturday, becoming the first chief minister in the country who has been found to be infected. India on Monday handed over 10 broad gauge locomotives to Bangladesh as part of its grant assistance to the eastern neighbour. The rail collaboration is a vital element of bilateral cooperation in promoting trade and connectivity and in boosting the economic partnership. Providing Bangladesh mobility solutions for both intra-country and inter-country movement, India on Monday handed over 10 broad gauge diesel locomotives to the neighboring country. The locomotives were handed over during a virtual event in the presence of India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar and Railways Minister Piyush Goyal and their Bangladeshi counterparts A.K. Abdul Momin and Mohammad Nurul Islam Sujon. The Indo-Bangladesh rail collaboration is a vital element of bilateral cooperation in promoting trade and connectivity and in boosting the economic partnership. India remains a committed development partner of Bangladesh. Our uniquely concessional lines of credit of close to $10 billion is the largest that India has extended to any country. These projects will help in the infrastructure development of Bangladesh, a prerequisite for its economy to leapfrog to the next level. Last week, India and Bangladesh marked a notable achievement in maritime connectivity with the first shipment of container cargo from India's Kolkata to Agartala in the landlocked northeastern region via Bangladesh's Chattogram port. The connectivity initiatives with Bangladesh coincide with other moves by India to shore up relations with key neighbours 
amid the standoff with China. Pakistani authorities have warned that immediate steps needed to be taken to thwart huge swarms of desert locusts expected to reach Pakistan later this month from the Horn of Africa. Last year, Pakistan suffered its worst attack of locusts since 1993, for which the country was largely unprepared. Pakistani authorities have warned that immediate steps needed to be taken to thwart huge swarms of desert locusts expected to reach Pakistan later this month from the Horn of Africa. Pakistan is particularly prone to locust attacks because it is situated on the migratory route of locusts coming from Horn of Africa, Yemen and Oman. Last year, Pakistan suffered its worst attack of locusts since 1993, for which the country was largely unprepared. Today's position is that in Horn of Africa, especially from Somalia, it can be possible that this swarm will be in the past few days, साउथ वेस्ट एशिया में आ सकता है साउथ वेस्ट एशिया से मुराद ईरान पाकिस्तान इंडिया लोकस मूव इन स्वाम्स ऑफ अप टू 50 मिलियन एंड कैन ट्रेवल 90 माइल्स अ डे ऑफिशियल्स फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान्स मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फूड सिक्योरिटी एंड रिसर्च से स्वाम्स कमिंग फ्रॉम द हॉर्न ऑफ अफ्रीका कुड बी 400 टाइम्स मोर देन दोस दैट केम लास्ट ईयर द वार्निंग्स हैव गिवन राइज टू वाइड स्केल लोकस कंट्रोल मेजर्स इन द अफेक्टेड एरियाज ऑफ द कंट्री मोस्टली इन द प्रोविंसेस ऑफ बलूचिस्तान एंड सिंध Moving on, Human Rights Wing of the Pakistan People's Party held a protest recently over wheat shortage in the illegally occupied region of Gilgit, Baltistan. They accused the government for neglecting the people in the region who are facing food shortages and lack of medical facilities amid COVID-19 outbreak. A protest was held recently by Human Rights Wing of the Pakistan People's Party against the government over the wheat shortage in the illegally occupied region of Gilgit, Baltistan. The protesters raised voice against recent cut in food subsidies for the natives of Gilgit, Baltistan. They highlighted locals are facing severe threats in the wake of COVID-19 outbreak as food shortages and lack of medical facilities have added to their woes. इसके साथ साथ गंदम की जो कटौती हुई है जो गिलगित बल्तिस्तान के आवाम से जो गिलगित बल्तिस्तान के आवाम से जो मुंह का नवाला छीना गया है इसकी हम परजोर मजम्मत करते हैं गिलगित बल्तिस्तान एक पसमंदा इलाका है हमें आने वाले इलेक्शनों से दूर रख के वफाक में जो सेलेक्टेड हुकूमत बैठी है मेरे गिलगित बल्तिस्तान के साथ वो खेल खेल रही है आज हमसे दो लाख बोरियाँ भी काटी जा रही है और इलाकों में जुलम वजहती भी हो रही है Gilgit Baltistan is under Pakistan's forceful occupation, where the government hardly cares about the public's concerns. The region has already reported over 1,980 coronavirus cases, but has no medical infrastructure to deal with the crisis. Despite rising cases, no sense of urgency has been shown by Islamabad. Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani giving assurance to Afghans has said the government will not enter negotiations with the Taliban from a position of weakness. The President asserted the Republic, national security and the defence forces will not be compromised in the talks. Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has said the Afghan government will not enter negotiations with the Taliban from a position of weakness and that the Republic and the national security and defense forces will not be compromised in the talks. Ghani's remark on Sunday came as the Afghan peace process has reached a critical point where the intra-Afghan negotiations are expected to begin in the near future if the prisoner exchange between the government and the Taliban is completed. Meanwhile, the U.S. Special Envoy Zalmi Khalilzad has also started a five-nation trip. In Kabul and Doha, Khalilzad will press for resolution of the remaining issues ahead of intra-Afghan negotiations, especially final prisoner exchanges and reduce violence, according to a statement by the U.S. Department of State. In news from Bangladesh, monsoon flooding has left thousands homeless with lost crops and livelihoods in Bangladesh as it also struggles to control coronavirus outbreak. According to officials, Thousands of people in the South Asian country have been marooned and thousands of hectares of farmland has submerged in the floods. 
flood triggered by days of heavy rainfall has left millions homeless with lost crops and livelihoods in Bangladesh. According to officials, thousands of people in the country have been marooned and thousands of hectares of farmland have been submerged as floods triggered by monsoon rains ravage Bangladesh. The floods are another headache for Bangladesh as it struggles to control the coronavirus outbreak with lockdowns across the country. Flooding in Bangladesh has been made worse by heavy rains in the neighboring India's eastern states. Millions have been forced to flee their homes in Assam after the Brahmaputra River that flows from Tibet into India and then into Bangladesh burst its banks. The annual Rato Machindrana Chariot Festival, earlier postponed due to coronavirus lockdown, began this past weekend in Nepal's Lalitpur. The longest-running chariot festival in the country generally starts before the beginning of the monsoon season and continues for months. The longest chariot festival in Nepal, the Rato Machindra Nath Chariot Festival, earlier postponed due to the lockdown imposed to curb coronavirus pandemic, began this past weekend. The festival generally starts before the beginning of the monsoon season and is meant to appease the god of rain and harvest, Lord Rato Machindra Nath. It runs on for months depending widely on astronomy. A 32-foot skyscraping chariot of Lord Rato Machindranath is constructed annually by the Nevar community, which takes about a week to build it on and is given final touch-up with decorations before the chairing of Idol of the Lord in the chariot. <laughs> The Nepal government last week eased lockdown restrictions in a phased manner. The Himalayan nation till date has confirmed 45 fatalities due to the COVID-19, with over 18,600 confirmed cases, out of which more than 13,100 have recovered. In view of the COVID-19 pandemic, goat sellers in India's western Mumbai city have taken to online mediums to sell animals ahead of Eid al-Adha, the Muslim festival of sacrifice. As the number of coronavirus cases across India continue to rise, goat sellers in Mumbai city of western Maharashtra state have taken to online mediums to sell animals ahead of the Muslim festival of Eid al-Adha or festival of sacrifice. Maharashtra being the worst hit region with a total of over 375,000 coronavirus cases has pushed people indoors who are preferring to buy things online due to the fear of the spread of the virus. This has led Haji Goat Farm to open up to the sale of goats online as well, where a customer can select goats by seeing pictures and making payments on delivery. Party online bagre photo bhejte hum log, photo choice karte hai party. Photo mein unko samajh mein nahi aata hai to ek ya do ghar ke aadmi aate hain, wo dekh ke chale aate hain. Fir unko hum log batao ghar pe delivery dete hain bakre ki. Ghar pe bakra check kara ke unko dege. In India, Muslims mainly sacrifice the goat on Eid al-Adha, which is why the occasion is famously known as Bakr or Bakri Eid in Urdu. The sacrifice is done to commemorate Prophet Ibrahim's willingness to sacrifice his son Ismail on God's command. Sale of goats every year around the festival goes up. However, this year, due to the economic slowdown and restricted movement of people amid the virus pandemic, goat sellers are left with less buyers. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash Asia Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Asia Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button